got your African flower. You want to uh, make a slip knot. I'm using my four millimeter crochet hook, but you can use smaller or larger, depending on your yarn or how big you want the um, hexagon to be. And you want to um, chain six to begin with. So yarn over, pull through, two, three, four, five, six. And then you want to insert your hook into the first chain. Yarn over, pull through, and pull through the other one. So we're now going to be working into the center of the circle for the first round. So the first round is going to be a series of treble crochets. So these, each one here is a treble. Um, in the US, this is classed as a double crochet. So for our round one, you want to start off by chaining three. So one, two, three. And we are going to do start, so this is going to class as a treble crochet or double if you're in the US. And we're going to do another treble. So yarn over, insert into the center circle. Yarn over, pull through, three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through, two loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through. We're then going to um, chain one and then do another two treble crochets or double crochets if you're in the US and then chain one again. So there is our first one and our second one and we'll chain one again. We're going to work our way all the way round till we end up with um, six of these two trebles sat side by side. So if you want to do another four sets of those and I'll meet you back at the beginning. So now I've worked my way all the way round. Um, so I look like I've got um, 12 trebles around my circle. I'm just going to chain one because I hadn't done that after my last treble and then you want to insert your hook into the third chain from the bottom so this was our original chain three that we did and you want to insert your hook into the top of that chain yarn over pull through both yarn over and just pull through cut off with your scissors Pull that loop out and then pull that nice and tight and that is your round one. So now we're going to work on our round two. So this is our round one and then these, they look like little V's, that's going to be our round two. So you want to take your next colour, whichever you've chosen it to be. I've chosen the cloud blue. So when you attach this one, the, the spaces that we're going to be working in is the spaces where we chained one. So we've got a space here, then skip two, there, skip two, and so on, all the way around. So because this is where I've just finished, I'm going to attach my yarn here. And this is the way I like to do it. So just pull the yarn through, tie a knot. I pull these pieces to the side because I'm actually going to work these in as I'm working round. Insert your hook, pull through and then we're going to start this chain. So you want to start by chaining five. So one, two, three. That's going to class as a treble. Four, five. And we're going to do two double crochets or another two double crochets in this space here. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. 
So once we've finished here, we're going to chain one and then start working into the next chain space. So we're going to do two treble crochets in here, which is double in the US. We're going to chain two, one, two, and then um, do two treble crochets again into that same chain space. So this is what it's going to look like in each of those chain ones from the first round. So it's two trebles, chain two, two trebles. And you're going to chain one and then do exactly the same into the next chain space. So two trebles. Chain two and two trebles. So we've done our two trebles, chain two, two trebles, and then I'm simply just going to chain one again and do exactly the same into this space. So I'm going to leave you to do that all the way around to this last chain space here and then I'll meet you back to show you how we join up. Now that you've worked all the way around, you'll get to the point where you've just done your two trebles, chain two, two trebles, chain one, and then we're going to start working into this original chain space again. And we're just gonna do one treble in there. And because this original chain three counts as a treble, um, and your chain two, we're gonna work into the third chain from the base, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through both loops on the hook and that is your completed round. So we're now ready for our third round and this third round is going to be in the same colour and it's going to act as our fan. Because it's going to be in the same colour it means that we can just go straight into the next round and you want to start off by chaining three. And um, on this round, we're going to be working into the chain two spaces. So where these two um, treble crochets create a V, we're going to be working in the center of the V. So we've chained three, and then we want to do six treble crochets, so double crochets in the US, into this chain two space. So that's two. three, four, five, six. So it now should look like we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and then our chain three as seven. What we do now is insert our hook into this um, chain one space, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through. So it connects it down into this, uh, into this space. And then we're just going to simply start our treble crochets into the chain two space again. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that starts as one, and we're going to do seven of those in total. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Insert our hook into the chain one space from the previous row, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. And you're gonna repeat this in each 
of your chain two spaces from the previous row. If you want to go ahead and work your way around to the last one and then I'll show you how to join up those rows. So now that we've finished this, you want to insert your hook into the chain space, yarn over, pull through and then pull through again. And then you want to insert your hook into the top. This round started with a chain three, so you want to count um, your three chains, insert your hook into the top of that chain, or from the third chain from the bottom, yarn over, pull through, and pull through again, and that pulls that down to uh, the, the bottom here. And I'm just going to yarn over, pull through again, grab my scissors, snip off, pull out the yarn and pull nice and tight and that is your first, second and third round. This actually looks quite nice on its own just as a little flower if you wanted to add some embellishment to something but for now we're going to move on to round four and I'm going to I'm going to be using wisteria.